back in uh, 1987, 30, what, um, 35 years ago, I was in Florida. I didn't have cable TV, so I had to go over to my sister's, my sister's place. She lived on the beach, and I'd go over there on the weekend. Now she had cable. Well, I thought I'd turn on. It was it was on a Saturday, I believe. Yes, yeah, Saturday, and I was Saturday evening. She was she was gone. Anyway, you know she uh, she left me uh, the key in a hidden place. So when I'd go over there, I'd get the key and go on in. I met her landlord, very nice guy, and she got her rent a little cheaper because her landlord was from the same area my dad's from. Yeah, same county. So he dropped the rent on her a little bit. Still, it was still pricey. Anyway, I was I turned on cable and uh, I happened to come across this band. I apologize for the traffic noise. I come across this band playing. I don't know if it was country band. I wasn't really into it, but they was kind of playing a, a kind of cool song, and so I, I watched them sing for a little bit, and I, I got just got a good look at basically all the band members. So uh, you know they they finish the song, and I decided to turn the channels, but I just happened to get a good look at all of them, not intentionally, just you know just happened to. Well, the next day I go to the beach. Well, I went to the beach that evening, too, but Sunday, I go to the beach again. As I uh, walk, as I get close to the beach, I see about a hundred people in a circle, and it horrifies me. I'm thinking, oh my God, somebody is drowned. I was horrified to see that, and of course, I got closer and closer. As I got closer, I got a glimpse of a guy, it looked like he was riding something, you know, Sign, you know, signature, you autograph, and and I, I thought I I know that guy. And it dawned on me, I was watching that band perform on cable the night before, and that's one of the members. Wow. So I thought I'm gonna ask him a question. I'm gonna ask him if he's ever met Elvis Presley. So the 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 crowd starts thinning out a little bit. And I finally get up next to him. I said, I seen you on cable last night. He said, yeah, we was playing at you know, a certain location. Real nice guy. I can't think of the band's name or his. It's 1987. That's been 35 years ago. But I can't remember. I was, before I clicked on his camera, turned on his camera, I was trying to think of their names, his name, but I can't remember. But anyway, I talked to him. He said, do you want an autograph? I said, no. Now, I don't need no autograph. I just, I got a question for you. He says, uh, have I ever met Elvis Presley? He said, you know, he, he, knew the, he knew the question before even asking. He said, everybody asked me that. He said, yeah, I met him one time. Wow. He said, the buddy of mine uh, uh, found out he had something for, I forget what it was. He had something. It wasn't no musical thing, no guitar. It was something else he had for sale. And he knew the number to Graceland, so he called him up and uh, asked for him. And uh, yeah, he come over and look at it. So he calls me, friend of mine, says, "You want to go to Graceland with me?" He said, "Yeah." He said, "Elvis is, uh, well, he's got something I want to buy." He said, "Just come up through the gate." So, got you know, I was a little nervous, you know. He said, "I get in the car with him. We go up there and." He said, when he come out, you understand why girls took off their wet panties and threw at him. In person, he was a lot better looking. He, re he reminded me of a Greek god. Out of t 10 being the best good looking, he's a 15. Till you met him in person... He's the best looking man I've ever seen. He said, you don't realize until you would meet him. I, mean, I met him one time in person. We shook hands. But he was beyond good looking. 
He said, now you understand why women undress in front of him at a concert. They just don't go there to hear him sing. They go there because of his looks. But he said, I stayed. I didn't go in gracefully. He said, I, it wouldn't, they wouldn't enter five minutes. I, sat out, I stood outside. And he didn't come back outside. Just a friend of mine come back. and said, let's, let's go. I just shook hands, very polite. Hello, how you doing? You know, it was business between him and a friend of mine. He said, that was it. I, I probably didn't talk to him a minute. But I met him, shook his hand. An amazing guy. And it took talent to get in front of audiences like that. And you could tell he had it. 